Video games can be a lot of fun and stress relievers, and some people might even describe them as therapeutic. But can the FDA describe video games as therapeutic? There's one game out. Uh, it's called uh, Akili, and mm. well, it's not maybe not necessarily out, but it was studied as a potential kind of therapy for kids suffering from ADHD, which would be a very n novel form of therapy yeah, yeah. via video games or specifically a tablet game. Yeah, it's inter it's interesting to see this because it this is kind of the evolution. Uh, of what games can be in my mm -hmm. mind because you know there's a lot of studies about like how video games affect the brain and usually it's to, to negative effect. I disagree. I mean, I think that is a common conception of video mm -hmm. games, but there's a lot of ways where video games can help the brain. There's oh, yeah. the concept of flow, there's the way you learn and categorize. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say most of the studies seem to be like they want to find the negative effects instead mm -hmm. of the positive effects. And this, this well, this one, this positive. game seems to be opening a neurological pathway for uh, kids suffering from uh, ADHD. In a study of 348 children between 8 and 12 who have been diagnosed with ADHD, those who played Achilles' game on a tablet for four weeks saw statistically significant improvements on uh, attention and inhibitory <laughs> control, your inhibitions, controlling your urges, yeah. uh, compared to children who are given a different action driven video game designed as a placebo, essentially. That's interesting. Yeah. It's, a, it's almost like these two kind of Areas of technology that were not really technology, but we're starting to learn. We're starting to map out the brain. A I think lot more. we're starting to understand that there's different ways of interacting with the brain. Yeah, in for a sure. real way. For sure. Yeah, yeah. That's that's where like neurology comes in, where we can kind of yeah, essentially map out the brain, and then there are other ways they could have done this. I'm sure, but attaching it to a game, especially for kids, is going to make them want to play it and kind of like passively. It's like sugar with the pill. Mm -hmm. Is really what it is. So it's interesting, and hopefully that can be. Expanded upon, and because there's a lot of good that games can do, especially in this case, mm -hmm. uh, and it's something you're interacting with. It's not a it's not a passive kind of uh, consumable. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's, it's interesting because even like the I remember last time I was on here, we talked about the VR game that could help with being cross-eyed and like or even anxiety, like mm -hmm. about how games can can deal with that. And I think this is even the evolution of that again. And, and so yeah, it's just so. in a different way. Yeah. Um, so in the game, Achille, you would be as a player traveling down a molten lava river or an ice uh, winter wonderland and you get rewarded with stars and points as you go through the game and complete tasks. And it does have targeted algorithms that act as um, ways to activate certain neural networks inside of it. It's just mm. very subtle, like you said, maybe the sugar on the pill. Yeah. Uh, the researchers found that uh, kids could complete a 30 minute session of the game five days a week for four weeks. Only 11 of the participants were recorded uh, negative side effects and those included frustration, probably with the game, and yeah. headaches. But that is notably better than a lot of drugs associated with treating ADHD in particular. So, um, I mean, this is, if the if FDA were to approve of this to treat ADHD, it wouldn't actually be the first one. So in September, the FDA approved the first mobile app to have uh, or to claim a clinical benefit to patients with certain um, substance use disorders. Interesting. Yeah, and there's yeah. also a pill being developed uh, that are, has been tested that would be able to tell a doctor when someone has taken it. So this would be used with schizophrenic drugs or oh. schizo schizophrenia drugs, rather. Yeah, that mean it makes total sense. What's interesting is, is especially for the substance one, it's mm -hmm. like something that video games are kind of backlash for is their addiction, especially on the mobile side. And it's interesting that they can almost help with yeah. in that case of something way worse. Obviously, I personally don't know if I believe in video game addiction because I think it might be a symptom as opposed to you know the, the root yeah. problem itself. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. I, I, I would definitely want to learn more about the research. They're, they're a way to procrastinate for sure. And I think the uh, the constant gratification you get is is, is a loop. It feels good it in feels your brain. Very good, but again that's not it's not it's one of those things that's maybe not necessarily a game's fault. I do think sometimes it maybe is. Um, sure. but but it's because uh, some because essentially, especially when you're making a mobile game that's free to play, mm -hmm. you are designing it to <laughs> you are designing it to have a core loop that keeps you coming to back to have a reward loop. Yeah, and you're yeah. essentially designing addiction. Um, 
And I think that can absolutely have a negative effect. But something like this, it seems like it can, it can, if it keeps you off other things, then I think it's, it's, it's great. Well, they're just really games are by their nature an extremely active and engaging yeah. form of often storytelling. But you know, also it could just be tasks that you find rewarding uh, yeah. again and again. And it, it, it is interesting to see this applied in a way that is different from what we're used to yeah. and, and very productive. Uh, it, it looked good in this test. Uh, more testing might be needed to consider if yeah. it could be recommended by the FDA as a form of therapy for ADHD. Mm -hmm. Audience, do you feel that you've ever um, gotten kind of a therapeutic reaction from a game or do you feel like the opposite happened? Please let us know your thoughts below and please like and subscribe for more. Are you struggling with what to get your friends and enemies this holiday season? Look no further because TYT for the first time is offering three month holiday memberships for only $25. You would get access to all of TYT clips, episodes, podcasts, downloads, extras. For this offer, please go to tytnetwork.com slash gift and keep the lights on. I'm scared of the dark.